Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is we got the valve. Um, we've already shifted our uh, center line. Let me go ahead and switch to a 2D wireframe. Let's say this line is our center line to make it more clear. We'll just go ahead and make it red. Okay. So say we've already reduced this down to a smaller size. So we're there. Okay. Um, we've already double clicked and gone into the uh, dialog and changed the end types. And now we need a new uh, valve, but we know we need to keep the hub links the same. So what we're going to do is, and as long as you're in a, you don't have to be in an ortho view. You have to have ortho on though. So we're going to go ahead and we'll go to ortho view just to make it clear. Okay. From here, you see this is all one object. So if I move it, it's all one object. We're going to go into the slice command, as you can see below. Or right here, actually. So I've entered slice. Uh, it's asking for the object. I click on the valve. Right click to close the selection set. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to go here. And I'll go ahead and type in quad just to make sure I get the right point. Pick that quadrant. I'm going to come to the other side of the valve, creating a cutting plane. As you can see, the dotted line comes after the hub, so that's where I'm going to cut. So I click anywhere out here, and then I can right-click to keep both sides. Go ahead and click Enter to keep both sides. Okay. Now you see when I hover, there is the valve, and now there is the hub, which is now a separate entity. Now that I have the hub from the original valve, I'll move that in place in line with the center line, which this one should have already been. I'm now going to copy from center to the end point here. Now I have both the hubs that will be connecting to the flanges, but I still need to recreate the, uh, the valve body itself. So what I'm going to do is starting up here, again I'll grab the quadrant by typing in quad. I'm going to hit the midpoint of the center line by typing in mid and come back and hit the center here. What we're doing is creating the uh, the 2D infrastructure for us to build this baby up here. I'm just building a triangle and I'm going to revolve that going into the revolve command. I've already had my I already had my triangle selected when I went to the revolve command. So now it's going to ask me for my axis. I'm going to define my axis right there. And it's asking for how much of a degree of rotation I want. Full 360. So now we have a cone, as you can see here. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and rotate that around. Since we already have a 3D object, we don't have to redo all those steps. I clicked it. I'm rotating it. I'm going with a copy option inside the rotation command. And we're going 180 degrees. So now we have just made both of those little puppies. So now we have our two hubs from the original. We recreated the valve body, and now we're going for the next step, which is to unify all this by unioning it. Okay. Under the union, you cannot union the um, the center line, only the 3D bodies. So those are all back together. Now to make this intelligent, what we're going to have to do is do a group. So you'll type in group. You'll select the center line first. You always select the intelligent component first when you're uh, grouping intelligent stuff together. So you'll click the center line and then the unified 3D body that you just created. Right click, enter. Okay, and now it should be one intelligent 3D body uh, for whatever you're trying to represent it as. I hope you enjoyed. Hope it does good. If you have any questions, go ahead and call me back, Tony.